Welcome back to the Wolf Pit and another episode of What Are We Eating? Pot roast and mashed or roasted potatoes are the ultimate meat and potato meal that will satisfy the heartiest of appetites. Who can resist the melt in your mouth, braised beef, and tender vegetables simmered in a rich brown gravy? Add a heaping helping of creamy mashed potatoes or roasted potatoes and you have one of the classic comfort foods. But once again, a lot of people are stuck with the dilemma of time constraints and opt for something quick and easy and most likely highly processed and not nearly as healthy or delicious as a home cooked meal. That's when they head down the frozen food aisle and pick up a frozen meal like this one from Boston Market. Their pot roast dinner with gravy, vegetables, and home style potatoes. Yeah, right. I've seen home style mashed potatoes advertised on TV dinners before and they all taste the same. Awful. I've never had good mashed potatoes in a frozen dinner, ever. But that's the whole fun in trying new things. You never know what you're going to get. And I certainly don't want to knock them before I try them. And here we go again with another beautiful, delicious looking picture on the box. But then when you open up the box, you're disappointed. It looks nothing like the picture. Now onto the novel-like list of ingredients. And once again, MSG is not listed as an ingredient specifically. But for those of you who want or need to know, there are several ingredients that may contain or produce process-free glutamic acid or MSG like maltodextrin, beef broth, beef stock, corn, and wheat protein. I'm sure I missed an ingredient or two, so if you find them, let me know what they are in the comments. I'm just baffled at how many ingredients are in this simple meal. But one of the ingredients and its placement caught my eye. Water. It's the number one ingredient. That really makes me question how much of the product are we actually getting out of this 15 ounce package that's not water. And now for the nutrition facts. The serving size is one package, obviously. There's 320 calories, 80 calories are from fat. The calories actually seem pretty low to me, but that's not surprising with the main ingredient being water. There's eight grams of total fat, four grams of saturated fat, 45 milligrams of cholesterol, 43 carbohydrates, and somebody's been listening to me about the fiber. There's five grams of fiber. But as we all know, fiber helps prevent us from getting grumpy, if you know what I mean. It's a good source of protein at 19 grams, which is almost a quarter of your daily allowance. I usually save the worst for last, but today I'm saving the outrageously absurd amount of sodium for last. Weighing in at a heart stopping 1,430 milligrams of sodium, that's 60% of your daily allowance in one small meal. That's a totally outrageous and unacceptable amount of sodium. Congratulations Boston Market, out of all the what are we eating videos that I've done, you have the meal with the highest amount of sodium that I've ever done. Now let's open up our salt roast, I mean pot roast, and see what we have inside. Now wait just a cotton picking minute. On the box it said beef pot roast with homestyle mashed potatoes. It should say homestyle mashed potatoes with a little bit of beef pot roast. Now the instructions say peel back the film to vent, but it doesn't say what side of the film, so I'm going to pull it back on both sides. Then it says to microwave on high for five minutes. After microwaving on high for five minutes, give it a mix. I mixed the pot roast and vegetables first. I don't think it really matters which one you mix first. And at this point, it was actually smelling pretty good. Now cover the pot roast back up and move on to the potatoes. The potatoes look and feel dreadful, just like any other potatoes I've had in a frozen meal. And when I mixed them, they were still just a little bit frozen. Now wrap everything back up and it goes back into the microwave on high for three more minutes or until heated thoroughly. After cooking in the microwave for a total of eight minutes on high and resting for another minute, our salt roast is done. I gave it a good mix before I dug in to make sure everything was heated through. At this point, I started changing my mind about the potatoes before I even tasted them. They started looking like real potatoes. The pot roast looked pretty good, but it looked more like beef stew to me. But one thing I want to mention before I forget, the meal did look somewhat like the picture on the box. Then it was time to give everything a taste, and I started off with the pot roast. And it was actually pretty good. It was tender, flavorful, and it wasn't nearly as salty as I expected. And that's actually pretty scary if you think about it, because it has so much salt in it, but you can't taste it, then a lot of people are liable to add more salt to it. And then I tried the vegetables, which I also really liked. They weren't soft and mushy like you would normally associate vegetables in frozen foods or canned foods. They were actually perfectly cooked in my opinion. 
And then I moved on to the dreaded frozen mashed potatoes. And as much as I really hate to say it, I loved the mashed potatoes. And no, I don't mean I just liked them. I loved them. As much as I dreaded tasting those mashed potatoes, they were the best frozen mashed potatoes I've ever had. So then of course, I had to dip the mashed potatoes in the gravy. And then once I turned the camera off, I mixed everything together like it should be. At least that's how I like it. And then it was at that point that I proceeded to eat the full 1,430 milligrams of sodium. Yes, I ate the whole meal. When I do these videos, I usually only take one or two bites. So this was really surprising. Overall, this was a pretty good tasting meal. The pot roast and vegetable portion was pretty good, but the mashed potatoes, they stole the show. I can't believe I'm raving about frozen mashed potatoes. I'm gonna lose my credibility if I keep that up. Now the big question is, would I buy and eat this again? And the answer is, no. And there's two reasons for that. The amount of unnecessary salt and other unnecessary ingredients. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you do not give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.